Well, hello there, book club. Dan from One Man Book Club here with A Girl Called Samson by Amy Harmon. Oh, Amy Harmon, what am I gonna do with you? Uh, you're actually telling me there was a girl, a real life girl, who mulaned her way into the American Revolutionary War and fought as a man for over two years, who served on General John Patterson's personal staff, who removed a bullet from her own thigh, who only was discovered when she got sick, who was honorably discharged as a woman, who was the first woman to successfully petition Congress for a military pension, who spent a year of her life after the war traveling from city to city telling all about her experience, whose actual headstone literally says female soldier on it. Amy, you're telling me all these things are true, but we didn't know about her? Well, dang. Leave it to Amy Harmon to get me reading a kissing book again. Thank you, Amy, for bringing Deborah Sampson to life. Amy Harmon knew it wasn't enough to simply say Deborah Sampson disguised herself as a man for a couple years so she could fight in the American Revolutionary War and declare her story told because there's so much more to tell. Consider the implications. How did she hide herself, stay clean, go to the bathroom, have a period? in a, surrounded in a 18, 1800s war camp with, with men, all of men. Imagine what she would have had to go through. I mean, the travails of war are terrible. The burden of hiding and the fear of being discovered would have been relentless. She had to treat her own wounds so the doctors couldn't discover her secret. Consider her motivation. How passionate for the cause would she have had to have been? How strongly must she have loved the United States of America or the idea of the, of the United States of America? These are the shoulders the free peoples of the world stand on today. And I'm so glad, so, so glad that today, now, thanks to this book, I know, um, I know Deborah Sampson's story. You want to be, be inspired, want to feel uplifted, want to feel patriotic? Want to appreciate the legacy of strong women? Want to be amazed by the real history you didn't know about? Want to be impressed? Go read A Girl Called Samson. Now, parents and discerning adults may want to know there's no language to be concerned of. Uh, the war violence is actually mild. The sexual content is what you'd expect in an Amy Harmon book. Low on description, but high on emotion with enough steam to let you know exactly what's going on. And there are three or four scenes in the last quarter of the book that I would not be comfortable reading out loud to my teenage daughter. So, so I'll say best for 18 and up. I'll also say that um, while Deborah Sampson was real, the, the nuances of her relationship with uh, the, of the relationships that she has in this book are not real. You can go read about her real story on the internet. Um, but she, but the things I mentioned and, and the fact that she disguised herself as a girl and went to war, that is real. And her story is fascinating and I'm grateful for, to Amy Harmon for bringing this story to life. I think you're going to love it too. Uh, so happy reading everyone.